How you going, Australia? It's Big Mike, and today is Sunday, April 9th, 2023, which means it's Easter Sunday. I know for you lot out there in Australia and New Zealand, it is Monday, but you guys can forgive me, I hope. So let's talk about what you saw in the thumbnail. I got a small parcel not too long ago from a secret admirer, and they sent me a couple of things, including this, this cute little koala with earphones on. Yes, I, uh, trying to get better at properly naming animals. For some reason, I guess it's the K-A. I always seem to call koalas kangaroos. I don't mean to. I know they're two different animals. They're both Australian and really cute, but isn't this adorable? Help me come up with a name for this koala with earphones, you guys. I want to know. So, while this beautiful creature right here takes a seat, let's talk about the Easter treats that I got in this parcel. I got one of these, a Daryl Lee egg. This is the Nougat Milk Chocolate Easter Egg. And I got this, this is so adorable here. This is a Daryl Lee Bilby Chocolate Bilby. <laughs> now over here in the United States, we usually have today a lot of things like Cadbury cream eggs, or we'll have chocolate hollow Easter bunnies. Now this Daryl Lee Bilby, it feels hollow, and it's very adorable. It's my understanding that because of the sale of these, it has helped with the conservation of the endangered species of the Bilby. So it's very wonderful to think that this works twofold in a way where not only do people in Australia have these amazingly shaped hollow chocolate bilbies, but it also brought awareness and continues to help them survive and thrive to this very day. So because it is, I'm assuming, a hollow chocolate, I want to try this one first. And I want to say the decadent nougat egg for second. So let's get this open. This opens really nice and easy and oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. How cute is this? That is so cool. I mean, yeah, it has a little bit of the oxidation on the bottom, but who cares? It's chocolate. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna hate biting into you, but like we do here in the States, ears first. So here is my first time trying, in general, Daryl Lee's milk chocolate to begin with, as well as a Bilby. Here we go. Good stuff. It very much reminds me to a T, the hollow Easter buddies that we have here. It tastes identical. Mm, this is good. Oh no. Mm. The quality of this chocolate, it is surprising to say. It tastes almost exactly the same. I don't notice too big of a difference between this chocolate and American chocolate when it comes to hollowed out Easter bunnies, or in this case, hollowed out bilbies, but it's good stuff. Let me know in the comments, by the way, do you guys have chocolate pepper, I'm sorry, do you guys have hollow chocolate Easter bunnies in uh, Australia and New Zealand, or do you guys just do the bilby? Let me know, please. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. No fancy editing or nothing today. This is a simple short video. And according to my secret admirer, while the size of the nougat Easter egg may have changed, the flavor has not. So look at here. This is big. They were bigger than this. This one is 150 grams. Wow. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, we don't even have chocolate nougats this big. This is, this is big. I don't want to drop it, but oh my gosh. Well, let's give it a try. This is the Daryl Lee Milk Chocolate Nougat Easter Egg. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. The nougat is so good. Mm. And the chocolate. The chocolate tastes very well balanced. Oh man. I gotta put that away. That is so good. Wow. The nougat's so smooth. And it's not sickly sweet. It doesn't get you like right here, you know? It's just right. That texture is just right, and the chocolate is balanced. These are really good things. And uh, I would say the name, but this is a secret admirer who I will respect their wishes. They know who they are. They're a very, very wonderful human being. And I appreciate these gifts and these chocolates. It has given me my very first, and I'm hoping properly, an Australian Easter. You know, normally every Easter I'll cook a turkey or a ham, whichever I'm in the mood for or whatever's on sale. And I always have a couple Cadbury cream eggs, a little four pack of them at least, and the Cadbury caramel eggs, and a standard Russell Stover's solid chocolate Easter bunny, and a hollow one. It's just what I do. But this year, things are a little bit different, and I am trying to, I know it sounds crazy to talk about that when I'm trying these two things, trying to be a little bit more health conscious. But no matter, I am glad for the very first time in my life, I got to try two Australian staples, I'm guessing, for Easter Sunday. And I thank you very, very much. I really do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today to Easter candy from Australia from my secret admirer, courtesy of Daryl Lee. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, of course. And one final thing before I make the sign off, you guys are finally going to go back to getting a bunch of music reactions going forward. The snacks and sweets are going to take a little bit of a break. I just had that stuff in my counter for such a while. I didn't want it to go bad and I got tired of looking at it and I didn't want to try it without doing it on camera. So I'm glad you guys liked those videos. I know I enjoyed those things. So thank you once again for all of that. And finally, just before I go, don't forget, I will also be posting my now monthly dash cam reactions video from Australia. So you guys definitely got some laughs to look forward to. I hope you lot have had a wonderful Easter. I look forward to bringing you guys even more amazing musical content, as well as my typical movie reviews. And of course, my Anzac Day tribute for you lot coming up very shortly. So thank you guys again. And with that being said, I am going to go hide this because I will devour it all today, I swear. And I appreciate and love each and every one of you. I really do. See you guys later. Happy Easter.